Hi, it's Lana from The Learning Carpet. In this video, you'll see the Cherry Creek Leadership Team and I working with my new Super Shape set. We're playing two games. One, what's my rule? And the other, we're doing shape puzzles. These games really help to build classification skills and spatial awareness. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And we would love it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can find all the latest games. So I want to talk to you about the Super Shape set. Okay. okay? So there were a hundred shapes yes. cut out and then, I don't know if you cut them out or if you just laminated them. I would recommend that you cut the ones out and it's okay if you haven't done it because no. you're about to see how great it is, okay? This is how I'm choosing to organize it. Sometimes the management of all of this is a bugaboo. So I found social envelopes and I could tuck all the little things in there. I put everything though with five sides. I dotted it because mm -hmm. you know what? By the end of the day, sometimes you need a little color coding to make you happy. Yep. Okay, yep. so that's just a management technique for all of this. Okay, all right. So we've talked a lot about that numeracy piece, but we also have to think about the geometric reasoning and all of that. So the geodata cards, you are squares and triangles, and there are games there that um, you can easily, you know, make a square. Can you make a square with these? Can you make a triangle with these? I feel like we really have to talk about the language of geometry and we don't need to get so so formal so fast okay so we're going to start by just doing a sort because man classifying is just where it's at okay so i've got a rule in my head can't wait to know how it works out so are you guys ready okay so shapes are either going to fit in my group or they're not so here we go this one fits in my group hmm This one does not. Now, what do you think this one is? That's a triangle. It's a triangle? How do you know it's a triangle? Because it's a three-sided equal, three equal-sided. Yeah, punch. yeah. This is a pretty matchy-matchy one, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. You know what? Sometimes I don't even know how to call a triangle a triangle, so I just go one, two, three. It's a three-sider. We don't have to get nervous about that, because, again, we're going to connect meaning to what those official things are. What in the world is this one? Well, let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four. Whew. That's a weird one. Is it? Should we just call it a four-sider and move on? Yeah, I think that'd be a good one. Oh, well, look at this one. Hmm. What do you notice about that one? Oh, my gosh, it's like somebody sat on it. Woo, it's a squished one. Yeah. It still has three sides. Oh, my gosh, even if it's squished, yeah. it still has three sides. This is another three-sider, right? And what did you call that again? I forgot. What was that? Uh, triangle. Oh, triangle. Okay, so maybe it is a triangle. Okay. So these are deliberate because there's more life than just the equilateral triangle. And I don't know about you, but I only got to see the equilateral triangle, maybe a right one. And then we mm -hmm. hit geometry. Oh, here's another purple one, but it goes here. Look at this weird one. Look at that. And if I put it like this, it'd be like it's trying to fall over. Isn't that weird? What's that one? I know. What is it? It's, uh, oh, it's, oh. It's interesting. What would you call that one, Crystal? Is it so? Is it, is it so triangle? Because mm -hmm. it has one, two, three. three sider, Still huh? three sider. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And we go back and forth. Oh. Now, Hi. these, Hi. in addition to this being great for um, sorting and thinking attributes, this is a great counting exercise. And they go all the way from triangle to decagon. Okay. okay, but now here's another great thing going back to the geometry piece. Okay, so I'm going to put mm -hmm. some things out here. So you're like, oh, what in the world is she doing? Mm -hmm. Could you find some puzzle pieces? And would you see if you could do some puzzle pieces? Let's mm -hmm. see if we can find which one fits inside. Oh, mm. so the crowd good. goes wild, doesn't it? Oh, mm. okay. oh. oh. and this one oh, is like okay. the Star Trek symbol. Oh, really fat. <gasps> What's oh, that? but look at this one! Holy guacamole! This one doesn't have it. Wait, we're out of little shapes, but what? What's going on here? 
No, but it doesn't connect. <gasps> oh, no. So does this, like, what? What would we call this crazy thing? A swirl. A swirl. I like that idea. Okay. This <laughs> is an oh yeah, absolutely. So we language. This is an open figure because ah. the door is open. The dog could get out, right? This fence, the dog could get out. That is a cult figure. Uh -huh. So in those cards, you're going to see 10 that are open figures. You're also going to see 10 that are closed, but they aren't polygons. Okay. So it's two, you know, two straight sides and an arch or a variety of things. Because again, we want kids to know that that's what that's about.